Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft down under. Well, another hot day with nearly 40 degrees Celsius. It's just baking. So, Monday, my ute was parked down at our local railway station. That's one of the places where you empty your car out and leave your glove box open and those little treasures just steal everything. So I had this yellow esky and the blue esky in the tray. This one was chained up, the other one wasn't and I had no concern really if it vanished I often take my uh, Yeti cooler out because it's just too tempting so <clears throat> inside the tray so I was testing out the tropical roof and I had uh, four times more ice in this one and a much cooler lid and direct sun now the the rubber tray liner was just over 61 degrees Celsius in an air temperature of 38 so that's 141 Fahrenheit now the budget end of your cooler range you don't have feet so there's little bumps here sort of but if you look at the, uh, some feet on a Yeti or a Pelican, they're much bigger. I'll, I'll slip in a photo. So I decided to make a similar uh, base for the Esky to sit on to insulate it from the hot tray of the car, which is what I've done. So I've made this. So this pattern that you can see here is the uh, is the size of the cooler so I've added two inches all the way around and then it starts getting a bit interesting so I've made this piece to go on here and my intention is first I'm going to test just this alone to see if it makes a difference I suspect it will getting away from the hot tray of the car and then we're going to build a two inch insulated box for this cooler to, uh, to slide in so with its original insulation that'll be a, about a three inch insulated cooler so you can slide out the basic cooler for a day trip or down to the beach and if you want to go for a, a week away hopefully this will do it so my intention is once it's clamped up and glued up is to fill these voids with expander foam and build the walls so that you, know, you can still unlatch it and still get it out so I'll be able to come up high at the front then I'll have to be creative around here because I don't want to remove this so I think it's going to be an interesting project in both so I intend to next week I'm at the station again for a day test the base on its own see how we how it goes against the previous time and then we're going to continue building this box okay guys so I had this in the ute at the station I had the, this piece on the bottom insulating it from the tray now the tray was at uh, 62.9 degrees Celsius air temperature was varying between 34 and 38 on the top of the tropical lid we had 41 degrees and on this layer here we had 34, so actually lower than air temperature. Now, the previous test with just that on there, almost an identical day, we had 1,090 grams of ice. So I didn't hear as much sloshing when I carried it in from outside. So we'll have a good look inside. And this time we've got, before we had a slurry, this time we've got a, a block. So I'll get that weighed and see how much ice we have in the two situations. Okay guys, so we've got 1657. So more than half a kilo of ice. So that's a significant improvement. So what I intend to do now is to fill, these, uh, fill this void and start building my box which is the intention of this so we'll 
fill this all up and I'll build this in sections as and when materials become available. Okay guys, in summary, what we've learned over the last uh, week or so is if you're carrying a stock cooler in a hot uh, pickup tray you really want to protect it from the sun. So basically my stock willow cooler had 250 grams of ice left after a day in the tray and a warm night. The addition of the tropical roof increased that ice to 1,098 grams, so a huge jump for the addition of two layers of applied board and the airspace on the top. So that was a huge improvement. Insulating the base of the cooler from the hot rubber mat, which was over 60 degrees Celsius, gave me 1,657 1, grams. So a half kilo improvement on that and a significant one. So I think whether you're spacing your cooler from your tray with a couple of lumps of wood, it doesn't need to be fancy. It is an improvement, but trying to keep it out of the sun is probably more so. Anyway guys, if you like this type of content and it helps you make good decisions, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.